a lot of people feel voiceless and a lot of people feel forgotten when that is not going to fly with me. Everyone has something to say. Everyone has, everyone has a voice. Everyone has the right to fucking fight for what they believe in. And, and, and I will be right there fighting with you, even if I've never met you before. If I've never met you before, I think about you every day. The one and only Dominic Harrison, yeah. AKA Youngblood. Hello, how are you? You're absolutely uh, buzzing at you. I am fucking buzzing to be back, honestly. Like, I remember 2019, I, I, one of my favorite festivals we've ever played, ever. You wore a little black dress a then. A little skimpy skirt, I did. No dress today? No dress today. Some people call Youngblood uh, like an icon or an epitome of the Spotify generation because wow. of all of your influences, ranging from emo to Slayer to jazz, but actually, you experienced the tail end of the CD era, right? Yeah, I mean, to be honest, it was like all the my favorite records I remember burning onto a computer to put on an iPod. And you, uh, I think the, that the discount CDs in all the stuff, HMV was H actually your Spotify where you discovered. That was it, man, I was like, that's where like, I first I, I bought Nevermind the Bollocks by the Sex Pistols. I bought What's the Story Morning Glory. Uh, you know what I mean? I bought American Idiot, everything. It was it was the fame, everything. Yeah, yeah. Um, we just had a Dutch band called Gold Band on the main stage, Whoa. and uh, well, uh, not so cool was that uh, one of the one of their members uh, actually injured himself. What? Yeah. How? Uh, he just was a little bit too enthusiastic. Oh wow! Did I you mean, did you ever injure yourself? Yeah, many today? times. I broke my legs, all my teeth, man. Look at my teeth. They're all, they're all chipped. They're all chipped because microphone every fucking day, every time. Out of sheer adrenaline. Out of just sheer fun. It's good old fashioned rock and roll fun. And you never got uh, carried away by an ambulance or? Um, no, I, 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 when I broke my leg in America, yeah. I just like, we did it for like four songs before the encore. So I just kept drinking and kept playing. But then after that, I went to the hospital. Everything for rock and roll. That yeah, man, fully. That's what it's about. Um, Rag and Bone Man told me that uh, in order to save his voice, he only drank one a little thing before a gig and like seven pints after a gig. Do you have certain rules before or after gigs? No, probably the more like we, no. I just think we do what we want. You know what I mean? I think my voice don't really get. I think we just whatever it is: beer, cigarettes, Coca Cola. A milkshake, whatever. Also, I mean? be, yeah. Also I don't think it Yeah, it don't matter to me anyway. Yeah. Just fuck it. Yeah. Um, you're actually releasing a third album. I in, am. In September. September. And it's it's self-titled, so it's called Young Blood, and that uh, gives the impression that you will be extremely personal. Or yeah, it's a very personal record. This one, you know what I mean? Way. Because all of I your th music is. I personal. think. I think so. I think, but like, as I say, like a lot of things in my life I haven't spoke about yet you know what I mean I spoke about the world I spoke about what I thought was wrong I, I spoke about a kind of a turning point in a generation I spoke about an idea that a, a generation represented and then I think like obviously I'll always talk about that you can't change your, your fundamental DNA as an artist you know what I mean but I am um, this one's from a different perspective I don't know how to say it. it's personal as fuck and it's raw raw as fuck I mean it's always raw do you know what I mean? More of the same shit, but about my life. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, during the, 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 the pandemic, or at least the past year, a lot of girls and females uh, in Belgium, in Brussels, in big cities in Belgium, have marched the street in order to raise awareness on subjects like uh, sexual violence and yeah. nightlife, drink spiking. You actually wrote a song about that Polygraph years ago. Eyes, years Polygraph ago. Eyes. Absolutely. Can you talk about that? I think, to be honest, as I say, I, with my music, I think like, I always want it to be truthful. You want to hear something real? It's about time we do because you just give an example. Women across Belgium march because of that. That should be been sung about in songs. It's things in the what happened in the real world should be been expressed within art. That was just what I wanted to do when I became an artist. So I was like, I'm so sick of music that meant nothing and. I wanted to be a representation of people's voices. That's it. Yeah. 
You know what I mean? Because that's what it's about. At the end of the day, it's like, I wrote that song because I saw it happen to my friends. I saw it happen. I saw it was normalized. The issue of the bystander. The issue, the issue of the bystander. It's fucking normalized and it's and it shouldn't be, it shouldn't happen. So I, I, absolutely every one of you, I urge you to use your voice and talk about it. That's what, that's what I want to write about in my songs. Him up!